All right, so here's a little progress on uh, progress video on this project. Um, so far, it's uh, it's come along quite well. Uh, had some changes done recently. Moved the access point position for the outdoor patio slash outdoor kitchen area. Um, let's see here. We've got some. Uh, Again, some progress inside the house. You can see all the sheet rocks up. Pocket door area. Um, everything looks nice and clean in here. You can see all my cable runs are nicely protected. You can see how all the spackle and stuff that's coming off the contractors and the sheet rock guys. It's kind of affecting my stuff, but it's no big deal. I'll just wipe it down, clean it, and peel the shield off. We should be just fine. The majority of the stuff that needs protection like these, they're well protected. <laughs> we got some more over here on this side. This is like a second office. The main living area slash kitchen, cameras probably wondering where the hell are my speaker wires well they're in there uh, to find them my install guys use a, a little toner here's another cable that we've got there the access point so we'll use a toner and uh, we'll run the toner across the area the general area where we know the speakers uh, speaker wire is and then we'll actually line up the speaker position to center to the room um, that way we don't have, like for example, that just poking out of the ceiling. And if for example it's over here, the furniture sits kind of off-center or whatever, we're not stuck with the wire there or having to patch up some extra sheetrock or anything. So we'll leave the wire hidden up inside the, inside the attic or the, uh, the sheetrock. We'll use a toner to find the cable and then cut out the, the hole for our speaker and then pull the wire out and connect our speaker to where it needs to go. Um, these are pretty simple. Obviously, we saran wrap these guys and protect them from, uh, from getting damaged. If we know, for example, that something's going to be in a set spot and it's not moving, like for example, those two cameras, we won't move them. But here's another example. Like for example, here we have a in in wall tablet or on wall tablet it's a little tablet that gets kind of recessed and fitted into the wall um, it's nice and tucked away so the customer here is going to have a uh, nice little cabinet they're going to have a, a little shelf and some cabinets up, up on top so we want to center it to the cabinet and the and the you know the the little shelf so we'll do the same thing we'll do a test toner we'll cut out the the hole where we need to cut it and then we'll pull the wire out and mount our our stuff there same thing up here speaker wires are up there they're hidden Let's see here nice uh, little decor that's gonna be a an indoor pond speakers they're all hidden up there Another TV here. These are going to be in ceiling speakers up in the corners. <coughs> then my rack's going to be in here. Uh, these guys are not ours. Uh, these were run by the contractor and the alarm guys. Um, so these get left behind. I'm not touching these uh, with any of my equipment. Um, down here is all my stuff. So all my cat5 runs uh, I don't know why this is just dangling there I don't know if this is just a random cable that my guys forgot to install this is weird so all my cat5 runs cat6 shielded um, RG6 and Siamese wire all that's hidden in there um, over here is another room hey, this is one thing I hate seeing man I, what if the, the, the homeowner doesn't want to see that what if a homeowner decides she doesn't want to center there? Well, now you got to patch up a hole up there too. So you got to patch up another hole. Um, 
you know, like for example, that blue wire, that's mine. I know my access point's gonna be there, so I'll leave that there. Yeah, there's silver kill on, on, on the alarm sensors. We didn't do the alarm. There we go, my speaker, I mean my video. There we go, video again, and the speaker wires are up in the corner. Got another access point there in the corner. Siamese wires for my uh, video or at the soffit. You see it right there in the corner. And then right there in that corner. And then right there in that corner. <clears throat> in the bathroom. Got a tablet there. Can't forget that. Got a tablet. Bathroom's got speakers in the shower, speakers in here, and then speakers in the closet. And back outside. Back outside, you have camera up in the corner right there I don't know if you see it <clears throat> another camera right there in that corner it's a little easier to walk through now that the contractors kind of filled in all the holes there we go some uh, really nice layout of this home I've got another spot where I have wires right there those wires are for the front gate front camera you're gonna run all the way over there all the way to the front some more cameras another camera right there that corner go around all this stuff Camera right there in that corner. Kitchen's going that way. This is a garage. <sighs> Camera right there in that corner. And there's another camera up in the front. Right there, I'm sure you can see it. Try to zoom in right there. Now let's go back to my D-Mark. One thing I forgot to do on this project, and I'm, it's kind of too late already, but oh well. So I forgot to add a fiber optic line to the head in. Of beat myself over up, uh, beat myself up over it because <sighs> again, I'm trying to future proof this house, but I completely forgot to do fiber optic line, which I'm, sh I'm, I'm sure I'm okay because I've got a few cat five runs and a few cat six runs in here. I got coax lines and stuff. Um, Time Warner's right there or Spectrum now. They did their trench, ran their line all the way from the pole to the trench. And that yes this is not the way we do business here that's someone else's dirty work they use my D mark to hold up some freaking conduit so I'm gonna get with a contractor I'm gonna yell at him complain until my face turns blue and uh, have him take care of that because that's not the way, the way it's supposed to be I could have damaged my wires I'm sure it's fine but it could have damaged my wires. And uh, this house is going to be impossible to rewire if we have to rewire something. We would literally have to tear up the entire ceiling. I mean, look at that. There's no room. That's, that's the roof up there where the foam is. There's no way we're getting through anywhere. All right. That's it for now.